Hi, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. This is a gift that I got from my roommate at convention this summer. Vicki is one of my downline and we room together each summer and when we do, we make fun roommate gifts for each other. And this was my roommate gift this year. I love it. It's a nail file holder that she made using her Big Shot. So I asked her permission to recreate one for you today and share it with you as well. And of course she said, sure. So here's what you need to gather together to make this project. Your Big Shot, your platform, your two standard cutting pads, and your Fun Flowers die. The Labels Collection Framelits. Mini glue dots. Snail adhesive. And one of our 1x8 cello bags. A nail file of your choice. Some antique brads. Paper piercing tool and mat paper snips, and for cardstock, what you'll want to do is choose some coordinating colors with the nail file that you're going to put inside the gift. So for me, I use Pacific Point, Basic Black, Tempting Turquoise, Gumball Green, and then another piece of Basic Black. So here's how you're going to make the flowers. You're going to have your bottom standard cutting pad, your fun flowers die. And then I'm going to lay out some of the cardstock. I'm going to use basic black on the largest one, the largest flower. The medium sized flower, I'm going to use gumball green. And then a smaller flower, I'm going to use tempting turquoise. And then there's a circle for the center, and I'm going to go back to basic, basic black. You don't have to worry about overlapping your cardstock. You can actually, on this die, layer, layer several um, sheets of cardstock. I think probably up to five or six would work. Put your top standard cutting pad on and then run it through. Hopefully I've lined it up okay. And this will cut out all the flowers. There we go. Oh cut a little piece off of that one, but that's okay. It's just for demonstration purposes. Then what I'm going to do is bring, bring back in my big shot. Boy, I can't talk today, can I? And then I'm going to use my labels collection framelits. I'm going to use this one here, which is sort of fourth from the largest. I'm going to have my platform, bottom standard cutting pad, my Pacific Point cardstock, put the framelit on top with the cutting edge down, and then my top standard cutting pad, and then run it through the big shot. And this is for the back of the flower. Let me show you what Vicki did. All right, and then what you want to do is you want to fold this in half, like so. Let me bring in Vicki's flower that she made for me. If I turn it over, you'll see that she used the framelit, cut out a piece of, it looks like so saffron cardstock, and adhered the nail file in. So let me do that for you. I'm gonna put this in the bag. Now these bags have like a self-adhesive top to it that you can seal them shut. But for this project, you don't really need to worry about that. Slide it in the bag. If you have a pencil handy, it's good to push it all the way down. And then I'm going to encase it in like that. Put some sticky strip on the bottom and then I could actually peel off the adhesive top and seal that in like that. And then I'm going to attach it to the back of my flower using mini glue dots. The other thing I can do is put some snail adhesive to put the bag on and then put some mini glue dots and that'll hold whoops, this shut inside. Obviously it's not working well for me because I haven't sealed it shut. All right, and then what I want to do is on the front, I want to take my flowers from the Fun Flowers die. I want to layer them like this. 
and then my black one like so maybe I'll just go ahead and adhere them I've got some snail adhesive I'll just put a little bit because all you need is a little bit because then you're going to put a brad through the whole thing like that and you want to just have enough to hold the flowers together there's my black center my mat and my paper piercing tool then you want to put a hole in the center and then add a brad of your choice this one looks nice open it up on the other side and that'll hold your flowers together and then what I would recommend you do is make it more 3D looking by bending forward the petals on the flower like so and then with this inside you can adhere it down like that and there you go isn't that a cute gift idea for somebody special for a complete listing of the supplies and the measurements for the cardstock please pop on over to my blog www.nutsaboutstamping.com while on my blog don't forget to subscribe to my customer newsletter i have my august newsletter coming out on august 1st you won't want to miss it. There's a special promotion for those of you that are thinking of joining Stamping Up in my team. August is the month to do so. Go right near the beginning of August and check it out. I have lots of other sample ideas or if you want to purchase any of the products that I use to make this really cute nail file holder, you can do so as well from the button on my blog. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.